Hello, welcome back to the Caramel Curls 15 channel and I would like to thank you all for joining me. Today we are going to be talking about some goodies that I purchased from Five Below. As if you guys don't know what Five Below is, it's like an upscale dollar store and they have some really nice things in there and they sell some um, low-end makeup like a uh, city color, um, it's another brand that they sell in there like sometimes you can find NYX or Wet n Wild in there it's a uh, this brand called pro something profusion so they just have some nice uh, beauty finds that are very inexpensive so I picked up a few goodies and I made two shopping trips to two different stores and I wanted to show you guys what kind of goodies that they have because you can be a beauty on a budget so if you guys would like for me to come to you with different makeup things that I find that are great quality and that will still make you feel beautiful and help you uh, with your makeup application, please leave a comment down below because you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup for the makeup to work and for you to be um, feel beautiful. It doesn't take that much. So actually, a lot of my drugstore products work better for me than my high-end products. So that's a different, different video. So let's go ahead and get into the five below haul. First up, since I already um, pulled it out, is this black and pink makeup mat. And I also seen this like for a penny less at Walmart. And it's just a mat you use, if you see the picture, to put down on whatever surface you're applying your makeup to help um, with the spillage or to help it not be as messy because makeup can be very messy so it's to help stop from damaging the surface that you're using that you're sitting at to apply your makeup so I thought this was good I picked up one for me and one for my daughter now that I'm thinking about it I probably should have picked up one more so next time I go back I'll see if they have another I also picked up this all about color eye and cheek palette and it's by style essentials this is what it looks like on the eye on the outside it was five dollars this was three dollars and I'll list all products down below as well let me try to open this here because it has some plastic on it and it has similar uh, packaging to Morphe Coastal Sense and BH Cosmetics it has the protective film on it And this is how it looks. It's a little bit darker here than what the camera's picking it up. But you have all shimmer eyeshadows and your blushes here. And I'll just swatch a few of the colors. This swatch is really nice. I didn't have to really rub my finger into it. And it goes on the skin very nice. Again, this is a finger swatch. But this is the color right here. I'm going to swatch another for you. This is a darker one. That's it on my finger there. And then I'll swatch it here. That's it there. They're very soft. So for it to be uh, be $5, it's very soft. I'm going to swatch a lighter one for you. Camera might be washing that one out a little bit. And this one, again, applied very smooth very smooth not chalky at all let me swatch a blush for you the blush does seem a little chalky but it doesn't apply that way it's a very light blush but it comes off on my hand very pigmented so I would say that this was a great buy for five bucks it feels similar to my high-end eyeshadows for five dollars so ain't nothing wrong with being a beauty on the budget. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Try to keep up with yourself. Okay. Next up, I purchased a beauty tool. And it's really different, but I haven't seen one this large before. So I think it will work out. And it's a beauty sponge and makeup brush. It's a two-in-one double deluxe is what it says. This was $5 as well. You have a face brush on one end and then you have a beauty sponge tip on the other so I want to 
open this because I haven't opened these things. I'm opening them the first time with you guys. Oh, hope I don't bust this pen because I'm trying to get this open. I should have my box cutter handy. But and the sponge is so soft. The sponge is very soft. It has a dome tip on it. The bristles to this moves very easy. Um, I like mine a little bit more dense, but it's still it's workable. So I will start to do follow up videos for you guys on um hauls products that I purchased just so you know if I like them if they're working out things like that because I think you guys should know so if you know you know I was on the fence about trying that product not too sure should I maybe maybe not so I will start to do that I'm going to go back to doing my trash or treasure um videos which will be more descriptive of products that I've hauled and if I like them or not Alrighty, next up we have a Bronze and Glow by Beauty Treats Palette. I have not opened this. As you can see, the plastic right here is still on it. So that's how that looks. And I love the colors in this. They, um, You have one matte and the rest are shimmer, which will probably be um, highlights. Or if you're going for like a night club look you can use the darker ones as a bronzer but gives you a little glow and then you have one in the center that can be a highlight shade but it does have some shimmer in it so but this one I believe was if it, it's either it either was three or five dollars I can't quite remember but it either was three or five dollars I'll check my receipt I still have my receipt and I'll list the prices down below as well as the description of the product Next up, I purchased a LA Colors Loose Powder, Loose Face Setting Powder, and it was $2 because I have extremely oily skin, and I'm always in search for the best face powder. So, we'll see how this works. I don't, don't think I have this, but we'll see how this works. This was $2. Next up, I have a Color Mates eyeshadow and eyeliner pencil this was two dollars i picked it up because this trio here is so cute i love the colors in it and you get a pencil and you get uh i mean you get a pencil and a, a sharpener along with this for two dollars i didn't think that was bad so we'll try that and then i also picked up a few of the city color hd blushes i did get a double color that but i gave that to my daughter this color is warm lavender if you guys can see that let's try this warm lavender and this is like the perfect new blush for my skin tone for everyday look out to work or just going someplace really quick to run some errands you don't really want to put on a, a heavy full face of makeup but you want to have a finished look this would be perfect this one is a little bit more intensity when you're trying to you know really get out there and you know experiment with color a little bit this is more of a peachy coral blush and this one is called warm mauve it's coming off a little pink on camera, it looks like, in my viewfinder. The next blush from City Color HD Blush is Warm Apricot, and it really does have that apricot color to the T. But you can also use this one as a light, no makeup kind of day look. And then I have the final HD City Color Blush in Warm Marcella. And I, this is a deeper nude for a little bit more of a dramatic look. If you want to do a smoky eye with it, a dark or light smoky eye, I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors for blush. Actually, it is my favorite color for blush. That concludes the blushes that I picked up. I want to do all the makeup stuff I got, and then I'll do the nail things that I picked up. I have a Beauty Concept Ultimate Contour Set. I really wanted to try it because it looked very brown girl friendly. And the blush, the blush, the brush is dual ended. And it looked like the perfect kind of brush to do your highlight and contour with. So this one was $4. My ring light's reflecting off of it, so. Okay. Then I picked up some more goodies. 
This is a blush compact and it's the matte edition and it's by Style Essentials and it's the Pro Artist Blush Palette. And this one was $5. And let me open this up for you guys just to show you what it looks like out of the packaging. And I almost forgot a product that's right here in front of me because I set it down. Bear with me, they packaged the heck out of this stuff, so it's a little difficult to open, especially when you have the nails. It has the frosted outer packaging on it. No mirror. Looks like it's a little beat up in spots, but the colors are very spring and summer friendly. They're a little bit more pinkish than what they're coming off on camera. Looks like in my viewfinder, they're coming off more of a purple. So let's swatch a few. They swatch okay. They do come across a little chalky, but look how pigmented that is. So you will have to be very light handed with this blush. Okay, so that's one color. Let's go for this color right here. That's a little bit more purple pink mix. That's how it looks on my fingers. See that way back there? And this is how it looks on my skin. Again, I was really heavy handed with that swatch, but this is the swatch right here. So you have to be very light with these. That one, a little powdery, not bad though, workable. I would probably use these as eyeshadows more than blushes because you, you don't want to be looking like clown face. So if you pick this up at Five Below, I just tap and really, really tap off your brush with this one. That one is no joke, okay? Intensity on 10. Next palette I have is also by Style Essentials and it's a bronzer palette and it was also $5. And this one is brown, black girl friendly. So we'll do some swatches as well, just so you guys can see. I am tearing up this package and trying to get this stuff out. But it also has a frosted uh, cover. This is how it looks here. They get a little beat up, but I haven't used that. Here's one color how it swatches. See that? And then. Oh, it does apply very nice. It blends out really nice. Oh, amen. Blends out really nice. So, let's see here. Let's swatch a deeper one. Yes. Here's a deeper one. That was a heavy swatch. Very creamy. Blends out even with my finger very well. That's the one I just swatched right here. Blends out nice, great pigmentation, not chalky or anything like that. So I think this was a good buy for five dollars. Just by me swatching it, we'll see how it applies to my skin. Okay. Oh, let me do this one since I have it. This one is by Style Essentials as well, and it's a contour palette, and it's called Shape. Okay. Let's open this one up. Bear with me. They like tape the crap out of this. They remind me of the beauty supply with this taping. Okay. They have some uh, bl uh, brushes to it, but it's their, those real flim flimsy, cheap brushes. But these are the colors without the packaging and the protective film on it. I want to use a different finger to swatch so you get very creamy. I'm going to use my arm. Blends and great color payoff. Right here. Not sure if you guys can see that. But right here. So that one's good. Let's see about this highlight shade. Wrong finger. Highlight shade is nice as well. See that? Highlight shade is really nice. So this one was either three or five dollars, probably five dollars. So I'll leave that down below as well. 
And then we have another palette. And let me see where this one is by. Because I don't remember. This is by Glam Chick. And it's all about glow. And it's a bronzy palette, bronzing palette as well. I believe I did open this one up in the store. So I just wanted to make sure it was going to be um, black girl, brown girl friendly. Let's take the protective film off of it. It has a highlighter on here that's to die for. So that's how that looks. Let me try a different finger to swatch. Here's that highlight shade. It does look a little chalky. I'll probably use this to set my under eye and not as a highlight on my cheeks. Okay, let's try the darker one. This one's, it seems like once you get that first layer off, it's okay. So watch it smooth. Now let's apply it to the skin. It does apply really nice. It gives you some, not too much pigmentation and blends out very nice i'm not sure if you guys can see that just a little bit there okay let's try another color this more orangey one swatch is nice sorry i smashed my finger in the door and that's why i don't have a nail there it's still hilly and right here it's other one so this is nice and this one was five dollars so nice nice fine for five bucks do not sleep on the beauty supply, five below, places like that for your makeup. Actually, a lot of my lower end stuff works better for my skin because I have very, very oily skin than my high end stuff. This one product I'm going to mention is from um, Meyer. I purchased it on clearance for $3.14. And it's the Black Radiance Island Blues Palette. I just want to make sure I showed you guys that just in case they're discontinuing this palette and clearing them out and bringing out some new stuff you guys can pick it up this is really really nice like if you're going on vacation for the island girl look I have some pretty browns here and for 50% off can't beat it so I just thought I'll throw that one in there now we're going to get over to just the two items that I purchased from five below for your nails this one is um Cuticle nails manicure masking fluid you put this around your cuticles when you're polishing your nails or doing nail art designs So that it won't get all over your skin and then you just go back and peel it off and wash your hands and you're all set to go So I want to try this because I purchased some online that I haven't tried and this one was a little bit more pricey than that stuff And I wanted to compare the two So that's that there And this was five dollars and then I picked up a nail art stamping kit. It has a few of the plates in there and the tools. I have a few other stamping kits, but I wanted to give this one a try as well because it's also a holder. This is a holder to hold the stamping tool in place. And this was $4. I also purchased one for my daughter for Christmas for her uh, stocking stuffer bag. So... We'll see if you want to review on this. I am going to start filming videos, different kinds of videos. I won't tell you just yet after I do my makeup collection video, but you'll see. You're going to like it. So we'll, we'll do a review. If you want to see a review on this product or want my thoughts or whatever, leave a comment down below. And I also purchased this basket to keep uh, things in for when I do hauls and things like that. I could just throw them in this basket and show you guys it's an easier way to do on my haul videos so just wanted to show you that nice basket be careful though because this wiring does come loose but nice deep basket you can use it to organize you know your bathroom whatever office area whatever so that concludes what i purchased from five below if you like this video please thumbs up and tell your friends and share and we'll see you again in the next caramel curls 15 video bye youtube